I feel honored to share the pulpit with two Dobbs tonight. So blessed with song leading of Jason and Jay. We're thankful to them. If you like to reminisce, think back a few months ago when it was August. Maybe 70 degrees or so hotter than it will be tonight. Triple digits at times in August. If you do not like to reminisce and the day's gone by and you're a daydreamer, think about this coming August when it's going to be much hotter than it is this time of the year. Suppose it is August, July, August, hot months of the year, heat of the day, and I invite you to my house and I say, I want you to dig a hole. Maybe four by four, so you can have enough room to get down into it, and six feet deep. And no other information is given, just I want you to dig a hole, a six foot deep hole. Probably going to walk away as I would. But what if I gave a little more information? What if I said it's six feet? There's a treasure chest. There's enough money in that chest. I didn't really think about this going along with my class a moment ago as I was preparing a devotional, but there's enough money in that chest that can at least pay off all your earthly debts. You'd probably dig that hole with a spoon if you needed to, right? Because we see value. Matthew chapter 13 in verse 44, there's that which is the greater value, the greatest value. But the Bible here in this one verse and throughout teaches us that we must go get it. It's there. It's available for all. It's not hidden to the extent that we can't find it, as is the case in this parable. Let me just read it again. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field which a man found and hid. And for joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. The hidden here is uh, giving us um, a parable different than the next parable in verses 45 and 46 in that he he finds it in perhaps... uh, looking for something else and oh here's the church or someone a family member a friend or co-worker helps that one to find this great treasure the point of the parable is you recognize the value of it that you will give up anything and everything to have a home with God in heaven in eternity you see our motivation sometimes is different based on what we're looking for Are you looking for heaven, for your eternal home? Are you striving for it every day? Are you you putting forth the Christian effort day in and day out? Because you found the church, but you know that you're still on that journey looking for heaven. That treasure is the greatest. You never want to lose it. You never want to give up on it. You never want to miss heaven. Let us encourage each one and help each one to remain faithful until we can all go to heaven together. This evening, if you need help finding God's great treasures, salvation, returning to salvation, the joy of heaven and needing explained to you from the word of God, whatever it might be, have a church family that's here to help each one as we search for this treasure together. If we can help you in any way, please come as we stand and as we sing.